What's up? I want to apologize about the lighting. I'm filming this like at midnight. I filmed this video earlier, but I had to refilm it, so here I am again. And I wasn't wearing this earlier. I had a whole summery outfit on. It actually looked like I was going somewhere, although I wasn't. It was very vibrant, very pretty, but then I got hot sauce on it, so I had to take it off. But that was before I realized I had to film this video, so I was fine about the hot sauce, but then I realized I had to film this video again, so I'm just in like a little white tank top. Not that you care, we're here to talk about nail polish. So guys, the day is finally here. I know that my super white pale skin doesn't give away the fact that it's summer, but it is officially summer. And that means that we have a brand new collection that just launched today at lightsacker.com. I'm not exactly sure what time I'm posting this video, but it launches today at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just in case you're watching this like a few minutes before we launch. Launches today. And as usual, I'm gonna be walking you guys through my new summer collection. I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. It's gonna be a quick, simple, fun, chatty video. And I have better swatches this time. I'm gonna make sure that the videos are a little bit longer in between swatches, just so you can see them a little bit better, but I feel like we're getting somewhere, okay? We're making progress. I'm not great at social media. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I'm not the best. I feel like I'm a grandma on social media, and when you have a brand that's that's not good. But you guys are teaching me and you guys are making me better and I love you and I appreciate you more than you know. So thank you so much for constantly engaging, telling us what you guys want to see, helping us get better because I appreciate it more than you know. So without further ado, let's begin. I know you guys have already seen all the colors on Instagram and on social media and stuff, but there are some things I want to talk about that I'm not sure you guys know yet, just in case we're going to discuss them. Sorry, I'm very, very, very excited about this collection. So this is what the PR box looks like for this collection, and I am especially excited for this PR box because we actually have a very limited quantity going up on our website, like up for sale. So some of you are going to be able to purchase this bad boy and take it home. Guys, I am so excited. It is very, very, very very limited so we only have a few in stock but it is absolutely beautiful our graphic designer worked so so hard on this box guys we were going back and forth together for months this box went through so many different variations and it was so funny every time we would do something i was like oh, we need a juicier it needs to be more juicy more luscious more glossy and so she did such a good job of really bringing the juice to life she did the embossing with that wet look with the water droplets oh my gosh look at that look at that juice Wow, it's a lotsy. I am obsessed with this box. This box is beautiful. It's the prettiest PR package we've ever done, which is great because we were able to put some of it for sale. And if you buy the PR box, not only do you get the collection in the box, it even comes with our little PR card that we're sending to influencers, but you have our new fruit stickers inside. We just launched nail stickers today as well, and they are so freaking adorable. If you guys like them, I will come out with more in the future. The stickers just came out so freaking adorable. You have a bunch of fruits here, and they look so cute on the nails. A lot of you guys noticed that I was recently wearing these stickers on my nails. My favorite way to wear these stickers is on bare nails. Just popping like one or two on each nail, putting a top coat on, and then having like clear fruit juicy nails. I'm all about it. I love it. So if you want to add this to your cart during checkout, I don't blame you. But if you are interested and you're able to snag this, because like I said, <laughs> we do have very limited quantities, which I'm very nervous about. But if you guys really enjoy it, hopefully I can sell more boxes in the future and then get more. But if you do get this whole set, it is limited edition. It's like a collector's item. And like I said, it comes with the box, the full collection, and the stickers. But of course, you can save some money instead and buy the full collection in our bundle, which is always a really good deal. And I absolutely love the bundle boxes for summer. They're orange and red, and they're so hot and juicy. And I know people throw them away, but oh my god, I really love the bundle boxes this time. But okay, now we can get into the colors. I know that's what you're here for. You guys want to see pictures of my mom's nails, and you want to see some swatches, and you want to talk about it so let's do it i was actually going back and forth with this collection for a long time because i knew i really really wanted to do colors of the rainbow for a while i've been wanting to do a collection that had roy g biv which by the way i was so shocked to see how many people in my personal life had no idea what roy g biv was Okay, comment down below if you had no idea what Roy G. Bibb was before this video. Did they not teach you that in school? Am I the only person that learned Roy G. Bibb in elementary school? I feel like so many of my friends were like, Roy G. Bibb, the hell is that? <laughs> but that's how they taught us to memorize the order of the rainbow in elementary school. Roy G. Bibb, R red, O orange, Y yellow, G green, B blue, 
I, indigo, and V, violet. But obviously we only have six colors in our collection, so we pretended indigo wasn't there and we just did blue and violet. But there's something so satisfying about seeing like six polishes laid out in the order of the rainbow. Like you'll see if you buy the bundle, when you open the box, just like the satisfaction of seeing them lined up in that order is so Yummy, I love it. I was really on the fence because I didn't know if I wanted to make the collection a full-on rainbow collection or if I wanted to go the whole fruit route and I ended up just meshing them together because it definitely is a fruit collection but based off the rainbow. So when it came to naming the colors, I went with fruity names, of course. And before I get started on showing you each color and describing it, this collection is very much juicy. <laughs> it's very, very juicy. These shades are a little bit more sheer than you're used to. If you have my YNBB collection, you know that that's that's like true opaque intense cream. The summer collection is a bit more sheer, more fluid, more juicy, a little bit transparent, not all of them. So the first shade we have to talk about is Cherry Jelly and guys, I have finally created my favorite red nail polish in the world. In the world. That's right, I said it. I know that's a bold statement. I cannot picture myself ever loving another red as much as I love this. And that's saying a lot because Ace and Magic City are both like in my heart forever. And you will definitely see Ace and Magic City again in the future. Magic City is more like pink though. It's like a neon red pink. Anyway, this color is everything I wanted it to be. It is a true fire truck, like intense red. It has like that blue undertone. It's really, really vibrant, but it has a sheer transparent formula that looks absolutely beautiful on the nails. It makes your nails look so shiny and juicy. You don't even need a top coat. When you wear this color, it looks like a candied apple. You know like when you dip an apple into that hard candy and it just looks so shiny and like cherry-like? That is exactly the effect you get on the nails. It is stunning. When my mom sent me a picture of her wearing this the other day, like under the sun, I, I literally lost my breath when she sent me the photo because I couldn't believe how beautiful it looked. It just looks so juicy under the sun. Please take a shot every time I say the word juicy or juicy in this video. But this is literally a sunshine red. I, you know what? This is such a good red that can take you throughout the entire year because I feel like it's so Christmassy as well. But oh my god, just absolutely perfect for summer and it looks even cooler on your nails if your nails are really long. I have a skittle mani going on right now. This is the rainbow right here. But if you notice, I'm wearing it on my nails right here and in the swatches and on my mom's nails. It doesn't look transparent in those photos because it does look pretty opaque on two coats. So you can tell even on two coats that it has like that transparent yumminess to it because when Leslie did my nails for the photo shoot, she painted this on completely see-through tips like they were transparent nail tips and when she did two coats, it was completely see-through. Like you can completely see through the red, but it wasn't goopy or patchy. It was so even and perfect. I swear to you, I can go on and on and on and on and on about cherry jelly. It is my favorite red ever and I went with the most basic, most obvious name ever, but it truly just reminds me of cherry jelly. I just, it's so chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. And believe it or not, even though I just went on and on and on about this color, it's not my favorite in the collection. It is my second favorite though, but to me, the winner, I like to do this in every single one of these videos. I like to tell you my favorite and I like to recommend just one. If you can only buy one in the entire collection, please let it be who loves orange soda because it is that good. It is so good. A lot of you guys were asking me if any of these were neons and I gotta be honest, neons are very, very hard to make. A lot of those really intense neons you see on the market are usually like smaller indie brands that are easier for them to get those raw materials, I suppose, because the manufacturer that I work with only work with like legal neons, they call them, where they're as neon as they possibly can be and it's just really hard to make the perfect neon formula within like the regulations. But I would honestly consider this orange a neon. I'm wearing it on these nails right now and it's not even picking up on camera how neon it is, which proves that it's pretty freaking neon. <laughs> it just doesn't pick up on camera. It's such a beautiful, intense orange, guys. I have been secretly wearing all of these shades on my nails for the past couple of months, like secretly wearing them here and there. And I would say that the color that stood out to you guys the most was Who Loves Orange Soda. Every time I wore this orange on my nails, you guys were like, what is that orange? What is that neon intense orange you got on your fingers? This one on the green one, you guys really, really pointed out a lot. It's just so good. And I don't even want to talk about how it looks under the sun, 
Oh my gosh, it will truly take your breath away. I love it so much. And what's really cool about this shade is that it does dry down to a matte finish, which is actually not my favorite at all. I don't prefer matte nail polishes. I mean, there are days where I want a matte moment, but usually it's only for like one or two days and then I'll be over it and then I'll want to do a glossy finish. I just love shiny nail polish. But I know that a lot of you guys do like matte as well and I am working on a matte top coat. I just want to make sure that it's super matte and like really good matte. So I'm working on it, but this color does dry down matte. So if you want to have like a matte neon orange moment, you absolutely can with this. But my personal favorite way to wear it is with a top coat. In the picture of my mom and also in the swatch video, they do have a top coat on. I just think this looks so beautiful with a shiny finish, but it's really cool that you get the option and you can wear it either way. It doesn't look any different from the other polishes when you add a top coat. It's just as shiny, even if it does dry matte. So I don't want you to worry about that, but it's cool. You get options. And oh my gosh, I have never felt more like a dinosaur in my entire life than when I posted <laughs> the name of this and so many of you guys had no idea where it was from. This color is called Who Loves Orange Soda, which is from Keenan and Kel. Who loves orange soda? <laughs> Kel loves orange soda. Is it true? Is it true? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, it's true. Ooh. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. I used to say this so much as a kid because um, I know a lot of you guys know this, but a lot of you don't. My favorite soda in the entire world growing up was orange soda, uh, specifically Sunkist. I think Sunkist is way better than Fanta, way better. Like Sunkist all the way. I haven't had Sunkist in years, oh my God. I am a little traumatized after I projectile vomited Sunkist in front of a crush. Long story, I have a whole story time about it. But anyway, I love orange soda. <laughs> and I used to love Keenan and Kel so, so, so much. And I just, I, I, this color is such a 90s moment in general. I had to give it a 90s name. This is, this is Home Depot. Not that Home Depot is 90s, but this is the Home Depot orange if it was just a little bit neon. I don't know. This is the best one. It's the best one and you need it. I love it. Next up, we have this delicious little lemon baby right here. I love yellow nail polish. I think it looks so fun in the summer, especially if you have a deeper skin tone. Oh my gosh, this on a deeper skin tone, punch me in the face. This is the best if you have deep skin. But this is also really beautiful. I love how yellow looks on pretty much everyone, but especially when you have a tan. And I wanna mention it just because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. This is the only shade that's a little bit similar to a previous shade from Kale Polish. So this one kind of looks like Tropicana. I got a lot of questions about that, but this one is a little bit brighter and a little bit more like canary yellow and Tropicana was a little bit more burnt. This one is slightly brighter, more summery, but it's the only one that does come close to an old shade, but it's not the same, which is why I didn't name it the same. This bad boy is called Slice of Life, which so many of you guys knew where that's from. Of course, I wanted to give everything a fruit name because it was a fruit collection, but you guys know I just love naming the polishes after things in my life or like shows that I watch, songs, people. I like to relate to it somehow and Dexter is one of my favorite shows of all time. Yes. Worst ending to ever exist. It will go down in history as probably the worst ending to a show I've ever seen ever, ever. My God, what a terrible ending. And even though I've always said a show is only as good as its ending. That's one show that I feel like, please just separate the ending and then watch it and pretend the ending didn't happen. It's such a good show aside from that. And if you didn't know, the name of Dexter's boat is Slice of Life and there's like this yellow strip going across it on the boat. It's like a blue and yellow strip going across it. And so I just, I had to, I had to name this Slice of Life. Okay, so next up is my third favorite. Okay, if you could only get three, if you could only get three, red, orange and green. This color is so freaking unique and so special, so beautiful, so magical. It's literally the shade of a sour apple, like that perfect sheer jelly sour apple green. <clears throat> it is so freaking good. And this is the kind of shade that I swear looks great no matter how many coats you throw on because I'm not gonna lie, all of these absolutely require two coats. The red one actually you can wear on one coat and it's like a sheer red pink but on two coats, it's perfect. The orange is also perfect on two coats, but like for example, the purple, the green, they even look a little bit better with like a third coat on top. And I know that's crazy, like, oh my God, three coats, that's so insane. But these dry so quickly, and because of that sheer jelly consistency, it is so easy to paint, and you don't even have to clean your nails with this color. It honestly just glides on the nail. It's so easy to throw on, which is why I don't mind doing that extra coat with this. I have it on my nails 
right now with just two coats and honestly I love using it on just two coats. Whenever I've worn it in the past on my nails, I've only had two coats. But it does look extra green and extra Billie Eilish when you do three coats. But I love this shade, it's so freaking cool. And I love that this color is really coming back in style and I keep seeing this shade everywhere, not just on Billie Eilish, but I keep seeing it everywhere and I freaking love it. And honestly, shout out to my sister-in-law, Beck, who helped me name this color. We were looking at these shades all swatched out on the nail tip and we were trying to come up with these shades. And she was like, I don't know, for some reason this reminds me of a now and later, like the hard candy now and later. And I was like, you're a genius. Because it really does look like the green now and later. Which makes me curious to know, when you think of now and later, like when you think of that hard candy now and later, what is the color that you think of? Because I went around asking a ton of my friends and a lot of people said green, but a lot of people said blue and pink or like red. So I guess it just depends. But now and later is beautiful. Now and later. It's always beautiful and you need it. Okay, 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 okay. This is my fourth favorite. <laughs> Guys, this is the best blue I've... Okay, I was gonna say I've ever done, but hello to the stars. That blue, unbeatable. But oh my gosh, guys. This is the cobalt blue of my freaking dreams. I'm wearing it on my thumb right now, and oh my god, it is so delicious. We've been like testing these colors, obviously, amongst ourselves, like me and my friends. It looks so beautiful no matter who is wearing it. It's such an intense shade that really does catch somebody else's attention. Like immediately your eyes are drawn to this blue. It's so, so intense. So beautiful. It is deeper and more intense than Porter Miami. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that as well. Porter Miami is a little bit brighter and a little bit lighter. It's not as cobalt. It's not as intense. This one is a little bit more blueberry-esque. Porter Miami is a little bit more like not, not blueberry-esque. You know? Point is, they are different. They are totally different. And I named this one Berry because, as you guys know, I need a name in every single collection. And I was racking my brain with this, guys, back and forth for days. I was like, I can't. how am I going to do a fruit theme and come up with a name? This is impossible. This is impossible. So then I thought, wait a minute. I always do girl names. Why don't I do a boy name? Berry. Because, you know, like, Blueberry and Berry's a guy's name, like, Berry. Blueberry. I thought it was clever. I thought it was clever. I had another little ruby moment right there. I thought it was I thought it was good. And so many of you guys were asking me if I named it after the show Barry. There's like this new show that's called Barry. I've never heard of it, but so many of you guys were commenting and telling me to watch it that it was really good. Let me know if you've seen it, because I will definitely check it out. But I would say the majority of you guys thought I named it after Dr. Barry Faba, which is probably like the the least important character on Friends, I would say. I mean, we hate Emily, but she's like a big deal on the show, you know? I mean, so is Barry. So, what am I doing? Back to channel two. So yes, I love this shade. It's amazing, it's wonderful, and you need a Barry Faba in your life. Not really. No, nobody wants a Dr. Barry Faba. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, we have the other shade in the collection that dries matte. This one and the orange are the only two that have that matte finish, but of course, like I said, you just add a top coat, and you're solid. This is another one that's very similar to the red and the green. It has that transparent, sheer jelly consistency. This looks really pretty on two coats, but it looks the best on three, I'm not gonna lie. It just becomes so much more rich on three coats. I'm wearing it on my thumb right now on three coats, but it did look really nice and sheer on two coats, like more like jelly, which by the way is the reason I called it my jam. I thought it was kind of funny because you know, like jam, like Grape jam, but also like, hey, that's my jam. Turn up my jam. I don't have any other nail polish in my collection that looks quite like this. This is a very unique purple. It has a slight pink undertone, especially in the sunshine, under the sun. It has like a really, really strong pink undertone. It looks so beautiful on the nails, especially if you have a nice tan. It looks beautiful on deeper skin tones. I absolutely love this shade. If you're into purples, you're really, really gonna like this. Cause it's just like a funky, fun purple. You know what I'm saying? I'm really into it. I dig it. It's my jam. But anyway, guys, oh my gosh, that's it. I feel like this video was supposed to be very, very short, but we were here for a very long time because mama talks too much. But I also wanted to mention I have more good news. We restocked the talk to the hand duo. I was gonna call it a bundle, but it's a duo. If you guys have no idea, we have officially launched a top and base coat at lightsacker.com. Finally, after a million three hundred sixty-five thousand years, we have a top and base coat and I'm obsessed, I love it. Look at my nails, look how shiny, look how glossy, look how juicy. It's all because of this top coat. I mean, of course, guys, you can obviously use whatever top coat you have at home, but if you wanna to talk to the hand, we are back in stock. Get it while you can. But anyway, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. 
video. I'm, I'm going through something today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope these videos are helpful for you. I mean, I really enjoy making them. I love talking about the shades and why I named them and why I chose those colors. And I just get so excited about nail polish and color. I love wearing color on my nails. Blue polish is my absolute favorite, as you know. I just love color so, so much. Like, I'm just so happy looking at my nails right now. I mean, I love nudes, don't get me wrong, but my gosh, do I love color. But anyway, guys, I just want to thank you so much for the constant support you show me and my brand. Light Slacker wouldn't be where it is today without you guys, so thank you so much. I cannot wait to see how you love this collection. Please tag me, show me your manis, show me your nail art. I cannot wait to see all the things you guys create. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I cannot tell you enough like how happy you guys make me. Thank you so much. I love you. But that completes this video, guys. I am filming a video tomorrow morning so that you have another video going up this week and it's not just this one and my Spanish disaster that I posted in the beginning of the week. I want to give you more content this week, so stay tuned for that. But I love you guys so much. That completes this video, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.